Myanmar, formerly Burma, is slowly unfolding its history and culture to the outside world. A one-time British colony, the Southeast Asian country was under oppressive military rule for more than 50 years. Now, it captivates the imagination of bucketless travelers and is fast becoming one of the region's most popular river cruise destinations. The 1,300-mile Irrawaddy River flows through the center of the country. More than a dozen ships carry passengers along its route, each providing guests with insight into local life along its banks. Tourists come here to see real pain, real tradition, authentic culture, like a real deal, what you call in the U.S. Yemen has been a tour guide in his country for seven years, first on land and now as a cruise manager on the Amapura, an Ama waterway ship that takes passengers on 10 and 14 day Irrawaddy cruises. I was a passenger on a 14 day trip from Yangon in the south to Mandalay at Myanmar center. Yemen and his colleague, fellow cruise manager Zhao Duli, were excited to show passengers the uniqueness of the country they call home. So it's a good time to come to Myanmar. We are living still in very traditional way. Along the, this river cruising, you will see that's a, a very Myanmar people, a simple life. The ways of doing their livelihoods every day, farming and fishing, such a kind of the scenes, that's a fascinating. The river is the lifeblood of the country. Farming and fishing are commonplace in its delta region, which we cruised through on the first three days of our trip. Further upstream, in Yendabo, one of the many small villages we visited, locals use clay from the river for pottery. The process of uh, pottery making here in Myanmar is totally different from what you see in your country. Yeah? They've been doing it for, uh, for many centuries because this is an age-old tradition, age-old industry that have been passed down by their uh, by their ancestors. Known as the land of golden pagodas, the people of Myanmar are devoted to their religion. It's no surprise that temples, stupas, Buddha statues and monasteries can be seen in the villages and from the ship all along the river. Myanmar is a Buddhist country. One tourist come here, they see lots of pagodas, monasteries, and like I say, if you really understand about the country, you must understand Buddhism too, because Buddhism, it's rooted in their daily life and in their way of thinking too. The guests, not only seeing the scenic view all along that riverside, but also they can learn that the religions of the people. Captain Duma helms the Amapura. He's worked on the Irrawaddy for nearly half a century. In that time, the river has undergone many changes, but the beauty of sacred sites along its banks has not. On the ninth day of our cruise, we arrived in Bagan. With its 2200 pagodas, it's not hard to see why the ancient city is a favorite among guests and locals. In the Bagan, has the 1000 years or so of the uh, temple and pagoda, and that's also one of my favorite places. It's very fascinating there. I've been to Bagan many times since I was young, but I never get tired of it. Yes. Whenever I'm in Bagan, I feel peaceful and calm seeing those uh, more than two thousands of pagodas. An Amapura cruise is an immersive one. The activities continue on board, where guests learn firsthand about Myanmar's rich history. We have very interesting onboard activity based on our culture, our traditions. We have uh, demonstrations, the marionettes. We have a very typical Myanmar instruments play. Guests will love it. I want my guests to remember the smiles of the Burmese people and how friendly and how hospitable they are. I want them to remember unique way of life here in Myanmar too. I would like to encourage to the uh, international traveler, please come to visit Myanmar before things go in chain a lot. The country is not closed, it's open now.